I'm Jessica, also known as Resale to Ride. Today we are going to pull orders. It is Sunday night and we've actually had a really good uh, sales weekend. So we've got quite a few orders to pull. Let me pull open my eBay app and we will get going. Let's see, we have 24 orders. I know that three of them are going to one person. So let me turn my volume down. Y'all don't want to hear my, you don't want to hear my ringtone going off. Let's see. All right, so 24 orders today. Like I said, it's been great, great weekend. So I actually have one item already pulled because I never even got it inventoried. I listed it, put it down, and it didn't get inventoried because it sold overnight. So this is actually a shirt, a button-up shirt that I bought at a thrift store a couple of years ago and just hung on to it. I'm trying to find it in my app. Let's see. And I'll tell you how much I pay or how much I sold it for. Where is it? There it is. $26 plus shipping. So not bad. And I'll, I'll make sure to put uh, the sold listings up on the screen for you guys so you can see everything. So let's see. Uh, and if you guys watched my last order pull video, you saw I struggled a little bit with finding things. Xena has spent a ton of time going through all of these totes have been inventoried with custom SKU. All of our hat bins here. She has also done those. She's working on more. She has also inventoried all of my clothing. Um, all of the clothing is in these bags pre-packed with the thank you card ready to go. And this one didn't get a number on it because like I said, it didn't get inventoried yet. They'll have a little SKU number on them there. And that also goes in the custom SKU so I know exactly where it is. So it's super nice. So our next item is a, let's see. Concert for George DVD. It's going to be in bin E2. I already see it. Go. There that is. And then next is going to be we have three figures going to one person. Sold this little. See if I can click on this and get you a uh, price for each one. Sold this little uh, Chuck E. Cheese for $5. We also sold a Robin, which is over here. This Robin action figure also sold for $5. And then a Joker figure. He does not have a custom label on him, so hopefully I can find him quickly. Nope, that's not him. It's a different Joker. Let's see. You could be in one of those. Could be over here. Uh, where's that box at? there no this is what happens guys this is what happens inventory your stuff as you go be smart don't wait till you have this much stuff to start inventorying where is this guy he may be i have this uh hanging like jewelry organizer and there he is right there let me put that Hang that back up there. Come on now. There we go. He was right in front of my face and I just missed him. Uh, this is a 1989 Toy Biz. He's supposed to squirt water, $7.50. So all three of those going to the same person. Our next item is uh, the movie Mannequin on DVD. That's an E1. And it looks like it sold for $7.00. That's another one that I, I listed and sold like overnight. So keep an eye out for Mannequin. It doesn't sell for a lot, but it does sell quickly. It has over 100% sell through rate. Let's see, where would these, oh, oh, I put them in here. I sold a lot of vintage Disneyland postcards that were unused and they are right here. 
I use the file cabinet for a lot of smalls that I'm afraid to put into a bin. So inside this bag there are, well it's open so I'll give you an example. What's the first one? There you go. Country Bears. Unused. And there's um, eight of them in here along with the bag, the original bag. So I'll have to be very delicate when I ship that one. But very cool. That sold for $28. Um, and then there's the shirt. We already went over that one. Uh, we have an Aquaman. He should be in here. There he is. It's an Aquaman uh, multiverse. Oh, was it Mattel multiverse? DC multiverse gladiator in a gladiator outfit. He sold for ten dollars and twenty cents. So he sold on an offer at that price. Um, and then we have. Another vintage train. Um, is this the actual train? Yes. It's just a kit to build your own custom train. Uh, $12 in D3. Let me close this back up. I bought a ton of these at a sale a while back. And, uh, that I, this is the last one from that sale. That sold for $12. That's a kit to build like a train car. Um, and next we had some Tupperware items. There are Winnie the Pooh uh, Tupperware tumblers in A4. I think there's two sets in here, so make sure I get the right one. Yes. And there are two tumblers in here. I'll show you guys that picture so you can see. These sold for $18.70. That must have been an offer or a coupon also. Um, let's see. I'll be right back. Hang on. I gotta go grab this one. It's inside. Okay, let's see. Here we go. So our next item is a Domino's. What is this? Like a windbreaker rain jacket? It's a delivery person's rain jacket. Um, and this sold for $30. And this is going international, which I found interesting. I guess there's Domino's in other countries. I don't know. Maybe this is just somebody who is a collector. But this uh, is something that you definitely should not pass up if you see um, fast food or restaurant like uh, employee uniform stuff. If it's relatively clean, buy it. Uh, $30. We got this at the bins. So. And this weighs next to nothing. It's very lightweight. So that was a very, very good uh, profit on that. Um, next, we have a vintage bandana. And that is in B3. And I actually sold two of these, so I'm going to go ahead and pull both of them. Because they're right next to each other. Let's see. And I have them also pre-bagged and ready to go. And you can see I put number one and number two. I wanted to make sure that each listing was... Uh, correct. Oh, hold on. Not, oh, one and three. I already sold number, number two. So this first one is for number three and this one sold for $12. The second one, this one here is, they're identical, but this one sold with a coupon for $10.20. Let's see, next is going to be another DVD in E1. When Xena inventoried my DVDs, she put them with the spine out so that I can look at the side and find them quickly. So this came from a lot that we bought on um, an online auction site. I bought a lot of DVDs because I had a bunch of DVDs, like seasons, that I wanted to get my hands on because they knew they, sell, they sold well. Which I actually sold that set of seasons. It was a British comedy. I sold it for $60 this, uh, previously this week. But it also had a surprise in it. It had a ton of like Hindi Bollywood uh, DVDs. This is one of them. I've sold many, many of them. Um, and they've gone anywhere from like $6 all the way up to, this one was $24 for a used DVD. So if you see Hindi films, check them out. Uh, could be worth your time. Our next item is a set of Funko Pops. They are in A1. Let me close this so I don't trip. In A1, 
Oh, this one's full, full, full. Just listed all these Webkins last night. Oh, and I know that is something that we sold. Let's see. There's one. Where's the girl at? There she is. Okay, these are two loose Funko Pops. They are two characters from La La Land. Uh, apparently they are retired and hard to find. Uh, in the box they sell for quite a bit of money. I sold these two loose Funko Pops without their little plastic stands that they're supposed to have for $49. I think Xena found these at the bins. I'm pretty sure that's where those came from. Let's see, then there's that bandana. And then we sold a book. B3. I see it, it's right here in the front. This is TRS-80 Programs. It's an old Radio Shack book, some kind of a programming book. Sold this for $14. You will see this in an upcoming video from the Lumberyard sale. I got this for, I don't know. I don't even know if I paid a dollar for it, honestly. This sold for $14. Um, another blue, let's see, a Blu-ray and E4. Let's see it right there. All right, let's see. Michael Clayton Blu-ray sold for $7.50. Next is a PSP UMD. That's gonna be in Xena's office. Here it is. This sold for $10. Our next item is those light bright pegs. It's just a box of like replacement light bright pegs. Those sold for $13. Next is some rabbit treats. They are in a four. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Almost smacked myself in the face with those rabbit treats. So these are three bags of Timothy biscuits for rabbits. I bought these for 50 cents a piece at the Amazon bin store. They sat for a while and they're getting close to expiration. So I marked them down. They sold for $6. So glad to see those go. Next is three lots of uh, vintage, um, or, or almost, they're pushing antique uh, railroad magazines. These are all three going to the same person. This is a full entire year, all 12 issues of Model Railroader magazine from 1940. Uh, I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna put them back over here so I don't mess them up and I've got everything in a box. And then we sold a single issue of the same magazine, but this is from November, 1959. That sold for six. And then the other lot is seven issues also of Model Railroader from 1949. This sold for 16. So that was a pretty good sale to one person. Let's see. And then the next item I went ahead and pulled, it hasn't been inventoried yet. This is a pair of shorts. These are vintage Gap special edition shorts. These are from last week's video. If you guys watched last week's video, if you haven't, go check it out. I found these in the dirt, basically, in the old lumber yard. So those sold for $14 and they sold pretty quickly. I just listed those a couple days ago. So that was a good deal. Um, next is a Ben 10 figure and he is right here in this pocket. Little four inch Ben 10 figure sold for $9. And I think I got that at the bin. So that was practically free. It weighs next to nothing. Um, and our last item is this PS4 game. I grabbed this when I grabbed the uh, PSP UMD. This is Spider-Man Game of the Year Edition, sold for $20. I paid five bucks for this at a yard sale uh, this last summer. So that was a good deal. All right, guys, so all 24 orders have been pulled. That was pretty easy compared to our last uh, order pull video. Now that everything has been inventoried, thank you so much to Xena for that. Um, that has been an amazing gift from her. So if you would, guys, please subscribe to my channel. We're getting close to 100 subscribers. I've kind of, I'm at 70 as I'm recording this. So I would love to hit that 100 mark. Uh, that's my next biggest goal. And if you would, please like, 
this video, hit that notification bell so you will be notified when videos like this come out and as well um, our estate sale videos. We have more of the lumberyard videos like the one where I found the shorts in the dirt. Um, I think we have three more videos coming from that sale. So if you would make sure you hit that notification bell, share this with your friends and uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Uh, do you like these kinds of videos? Do you prefer the estate sale videos? I'd love to hear from you. And uh, thank you again, guys, for hanging out with me today. I will see you guys next week. Bye.